Oh god. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> we were in the opening. Don't, with... <laughs> don't tell me, Mahler. Don't what? you dare tell me that he is going to defend this piece of shit movie. It's not just that he's going to defend it. He's going to give an, a, a just the, the argument he gives in defense of this film is why I wanted to respond to it. It's so funny. I am. I'm going to be really mad in this video <laughs> then because I hate this. I mean, obviously you already know how much I hate this movie. I saw one guy say he'd made a list of 41 plot holes in that movie. 41? That's weak sauce. <laughs> <laughs> me and it's nowhere near as many as there are. Yeah, me and Wolf, there was barely a second to stop talking about the conflicting rules and the characters making decisions that are so ridiculous. And all those plot holes people complain about? Oh god, black and white. <laughs> Close up black and white. They don't matter. Hey man, it's, it's a style. Leave him alone. They don't actually matter. So... Whoa. What is a plot hole? His hairline's gone back even more than mine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if you have a crippled character, right, and they have to get somewhere, and after a scene transition, they're there with everyone else. It's like, how'd you get here? It's like, oh, I learned how to, oh, my leg's healed. <laughs> <laughs> and then they broke again. <laughs> they broke again. <laughs> is they, I, just, the thing is I that ran some... so fast that my legs just broke again. <laughs> yeah, my legs were unused to the effort of walking, and so they broke. Next time we see him, he's like healthy and ready to fight as Batman in Gotham. And you're like, wait. <laughs> and, and it's only like a day later. Why? How can you possibly no, listen because, to that? It, because it happened off screen. It happened he, off screen. He found he found a jet that was abandoned and he flew. <laughs> he, he found an abandoned, abandoned jet, jet and he flew in the jet. And then he got back to the city with he, he used a parachute. Let's look at all the movies out there that don't have plot holes. That aren't 40 hours long. Oh, what well, do you know? <laughs> all of them, because there's no movie that's 40 hours long. Some of them feel <laughs> like it, though. Just ignore the Holocaust. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that, I agree. That'll work. I perfectly agree. Dude, Holocaust didn't happen. Fox Dream donated and stop this stream about this hack and go to Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. You can find plot holes or logic gaps in any movie. And if you want to, go right ahead. Just don't tell me that those are genuine flaws and problems. And <laughs> how can you? Okay, well, but, how can you have a you, flaw you in just, logic that's not genuine? It sounds. You know what this sounds to me? This sounds like I can't argue against your plot holes. Don't bring them up to me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that that sounds exactly like what he's saying. He just like that's what literally. That's what it literally says. That's. It's like saying. I. I mean. What would even be a better example of that? It's just, don't tell me. I can't argue that 2 plus 2 isn't 4, so don't tell me it is. I've never heard of smart people say that. <laughs> I've never heard yeah, of smart I, people? I, I, smart I'm people. just saying, there is a trend I've noticed how normally smart people don't argue against logic, but we'll see where this goes. Right, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quote, um, I've never heard a smart will say that. <laughs> That's gonna go in my April Fool's video, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Someone said, I never heard a smart person argue against the logic. Bilbo Raggin. Bilbo <laughs> Raggin. <laughs> Movies yeah, are man. not math. Remember that guy in your freshman dorm who would always try to guess the ending? You know? What, what about movies that are, like, about math, though? <laughs> what about Goodwill Hunting? The film <laughs> of the man who has to do a math problem amazingly. If you watch this video and manage to get to this point, and not think to yourself, wait, this is this is stupid. You're not thinking. The reason it takes us two hours to deconstruct seven minutes of this awful video is because we're actually using our brains, something that this guy doesn't seem to quite grasp. We're not just making offhanded comments to wave away issues and act like those issues but, don't exist. I don't think you're an intelligent person if you're defending <laughs> Holdo. I don't think like, so either. Like, like seriously. It is the stupidest hill to die on to be like, okay, she could have just made the one logical decision that could have avoided so many issues. And then this guy comes on here and he's like, <laughs> oh, well, actually, it's fine to have idiot characters. Like, why, why do you defend stupid characters? Why is that a defense? Can we not? Is it taboo to be intelligent? Maybe for you, because I haven't heard one intelligent thought come out of your video yet. I love I mean, the idea like that there's just no choice. Like, you just, there's just no. What else do you do? You have to have a stupid character to make a story. What else can you do? You can't possibly insane. write a good story without having characters be retarded.
Star Wars The Third Gathers, The Backstroke of the West. <laughs> um, <laughs> is a bootlegged version of Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Oh right, yeah, and um, they... They they've got like really bad translation, right? I do I yeah, do need to like... I do need to watch that eventually. Sounds really oh, funny. Oh god, I just skipped to a a random point in the video and it says it's Grievous talking and he's just like just hopeless situation <laughs> warrior. Um, I think is what somebody intruded into come. <laughs> but <laughs> space general, you and not equal to I think severe. <laughs> Had me on a dollar's name. Smelly boy. <laughs> dude, dude, that's not that's not bad oh writing God. right there. That's not bad writing. That's, that's incredible writing. Exactly. Sen incredible. Senator Padme on Madala's name is the gets the rice. <laughs> it was, the oh rice. my gosh, wow, this is interesting. Chewbacca's name means drag along. <laughs> oh, wow. That no, applies to the last Jedi, I think. Wow, that's some fucking that's some foretelling right there. Um, I fucking shit you not, man. His name means drag along. <laughs> Don't you ever think to discover here from I clues? <laughs> when they looked at the script, this yeah. stupid ass first draft, they wrote themselves into this position. Don't forget, Holdo they didn't did exist. Holdo's invented. The Radis is invented. Leia going out into space and coming out being a coma is invented. None of this that is all was in stone. Arbitrary. Until this film arrived, none of this was in stone. The fuck up that they're referring to is destroying the very ship that would have destroyed them had he not killed it. Like, well, yeah, we're only know. we're only alive. We only got to this point in the movie at all because Finn supposedly fucked up. Um, and if people are unclear on how that works, so when they do the chase them through the hyperspace stuff, the the dreadnought would be there with them. It would fire the cannon. The Radis is gone. Simple as that. Uh, but Poe. Doing what he did retroactively survives, saves the entire resistance. And does he get any appreciation for that? No. Does he get any appreciation for blowing up the the, the Star Killer? No. That happened yesterday. Yeah. Nobody cares. Try and tell me all the stupid decisions people made in Alien. Beyond the only one you could really reference is Kane sticking his head into the egg. But in fairness, you can absolutely make an argument for curiosity. Uh, you can't do that in Prometheus because of the biologist being completely inconsistent on his his reactions to biology. If you remember, he's scared by the bones, but he's okay with the penis wrapping around his arm. So it's like, that's inconsistent. But Kane is literally just exploring. He finds something that looks all slithery and then it jumps on his face. So it's just like, you could be like, that was stupid of him. But the rest of the characters get killed after making choices that are logical. None of them do ridiculously stupid things. They all, like, they all systematically get taken down one by one. Same for Predator, by the way. It's not a film where everybody's making stupid decisions. They do loads of things to try and fight the Predator, but it outwits them because it's also a hunter. You argue that horror films do not take place unless people are stupid is ridiculous. I am in no way telling you to turn your brain off or to not think critically about movies. <laughs> yes, you are. Literally, <laughs> it's are. literally, literally exactly what you're doing, what? right? And the a way to watch movies. The clarification is, what does critical mean to him if it doesn't involve logic whatsoever? Imagine Shakespeare sitting next to us and i'm like see this magic box we're gonna watch this man talk to us about storytelling and you just you shit you sit down with this guy and shakespeare's like that's that's <laughs> to get retarded. shakespeare's reaction to this that'd be pretty funny i would love shakespeare reacts to to, to this idiot <laughs> i would subscribe shakespeare would be like thou art fucking stupid <laughs> Over the past, like, five to ten years, plot holes have become a far larger issue than they have ever been. Because people like you are terrible writers and don't understand what you're talking about. And people like the rest of us actually get storytelling. Oh, you just and a we nerd. care? Well, I, I guess I am a nerd. So uh, it probably makes me smarter. Many classic films have really simple storylines. Like, Alien's the easy reference. Alien's Alien. so simple. It's ship. People on ship find alien, kills all of them. That's it. It's, 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 and you describe that to somebody, you'd be like, "That sounds kind of boring." It's like, "Yeah, watch the film." <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't need to have a complicated plot. Uh, Predator is is the most complicated thing in Predator is that they go to try and rescue some people who've been captured, and then it turns out that it's actually a different problem for them to deal with. Look at you know um, Jurassic World two. It's like. Okay, so the island we had is there's a volcano on it now, and there's an agency being set up by Ginger Gill from the first one who's trying to rescue and protect dinosaurs. Also, there's a third faction that's being run by the guy from the first one's partner that didn't exist before's protege, 
that wants them to go and rescue the dinosaurs, but in actuality wants them to bring them back so he can auction them off to several different black market people who are trying to use them for weaponized experiments. Also, they've created the Indoraptor out of uh, material that they grabbed from the Indorex when they sent people to go and retrieve that. The TV Tropes page for Plot Hole was created. In 2010, it... I noticed that he's like close to the camera, the lighting's wow. dark. Like if plot holes didn't exist before the internet did. 2010 was when plot holes became a thing. We're in there. Films didn't have <laughs> plot holes before this. It's like. I cannot believe. I cannot believe you actually said that. How can anyone say that? I and mean, this video's been that full is of the those, dude. That's the dumbest thing. I, 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 my brain. <laughs> I feel like my brain just snapped in half. That is absolutely unbelievable. Well, let's continue. Really began. Articles on Wired, The Escapists, Den of Geek, and Kotaku. It doesn't fucking matter where they were and when they were. It's just a way to categorize a thing that already exists. Are you telling me the plot holes didn't exist before the word was actually coined? Do you think people never noticed what a plot hole... How do you think people learn language? How do you think kids Listen, refer to father. anything if they've never heard of the name for it before? I think that something you need to understand is that before before Sir Isaac Newton discovered oh, no. gravity, oh no, oh no, gravity objects, wasn't a thing. Objects never fell towards yeah. You know, Matt, <laughs> objects never fell towards the center. We of the earth. we all just floated. It was you uh, see I, Isaac Newton basically ruined the world. <laughs> It's all, he his, basically it's all did. his fault. We can't fly Everybody anymore. Everybody was just floating around, having a great time, flying around. All of a sudden, this asshole, right, <laughs> he gets hit in the head by an apple and has an idea, and everyone just dropped. <laughs> and there was no more fun after that. And plot holes were the perfect clickbait. Nitpicks about I can't believe her. this is what I mean by a narrative. He's making, listen to the music and the way Rags highlighted how he's shot this. He's making this seem like it was a, a disease that spread. As if nobody ever would have talked about this before somebody mentioned the word. It's insane. Does he actually think this is true? And what's the point that he's trying to make here? They exploded in popularity? Why? Is I would it because be... people give a shit? I was gonna say, this is a good thing. If this actually promoted critical thinking, it's a good thing. Yeah. This is making us examine the media that we consume. It's making us look at it. Stop making us really see what's good and bad about it. Why is that a bad thing to you? You should be glad that people had their eyes open about this stuff. Could it possibly be it a good thing that people are using their brains? And it's like, I, I don't mean, see any part of these articles that say, you shouldn't like these movies now. And even if they did, they'd be no worse than you. You've already told us that we're watching movies wrong. It's just insane that he's going, he, what do I have to do to make The Last Jedi not suck. Yeah, that's, that, that does actually feel like what the title of this video should have been. <laughs> I must try everything. Popular things that could reveal things readers may have missed. But 2012 was where the change really happened. This was when- I can't get over the way he's oh, delivering oh, this, it's so funny. Oh, so now, now it's 2012. It wasn't actually 2010. 2012 was when- <laughs> Dude, I, dude I, I'm waiting for him to be like, and then came 2018, the army invaded. Each of the countries suffered. <laughs> You're just like, wait, what? what, what? Everything <laughs> changed when the plot whole nation attacked. <laughs> That's like the easy fucking reference. But it, I, I just, what, what is it, YouTube that did it? Plot holes started taking over YouTube. Pop culture commentary from a nerdy fan perspective. I was ranting about films well before YouTube existed, mate. And it was the it's exact same in, scale. It's also important to note that he hasn't described what's bad about nerdiness. No, he's just said it exists. <laughs> like, people throw out people throw that out, but they don't ever describe why it's bad. <laughs> and then Trump got elected. <laughs> Enter Donald Trump. Oh man. It began exploding in popularity. Plot holes don't really mean anything, but they're good clickbait. And I thought you just, just explained to us what it meant at minute two. You were like, a plot hole is a blah 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 blah. But plot holes don't really mean anything. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna save this video and download. How do you contradict yourself this much in this amount of time? By the way, goddamn stupid bean-headed looking ass nostalgia if you guys critic. Ever need this, nostalgia give critic. me a holler. That's probably one of the biggest insults you can get, <laughs> considering the amount of criticism cr criticism he's giving. Uh... <laughs> criticism, Christ criticism, Christerism. You freaking nostalgia critic knockoff. <laughs> 
For a while now, I've been noticing some things that kind of trouble me, and I'm not coming here to tell you that you're right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but you will. You dude, will. dude, that's that's Dear boy. that's getting um, noted down. He said, I, "I've still got it." You're watching movies wrong. Critics are not bought oh. or bribed. Wait, wait, Disney. Wait. Wait. That's so incorrect. The critics are bought or bribed. How could you I make that fucking point? Lie. That is such I, a fucking lie. We know that's a lie. We've got so much evidence that that's not the case. I just. That's, just, that's incredible. I mean, sure, they would like good reviews because it helps with marketing, but no critics are actually. You just why? admitted but, a reason why they would do it. What do you think marketing is? <laughs> My brain. Help reviews me. don't matter, but they want good reviews because marketing. The There's no reason why they is. would do it other than positive marketing, I suppose. You know, other, than, uh, <laughs> other than, you know, advertisement reasons so people will still see the film. He keeps saying that like it's a ridiculous idea where we've got proof that it's happened. I don't understand. It's like, you guys, silly people. You think that there's actual murders in real life? You think people actually kill people? It's illegal. Why would they do that? <laughs> He's like a game journalist trying to, like, de getting defensive about his own industry, and in a way. To echo YMS from earlier, he made a big argument for how humans are illogical and emotional, and now he's trying to make an argument for how it's illogical to do what humans are doing. Someone said, this guy would love the Wicker Man just for the size of the straw man in it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in the chat said that this guy liked Alien Covenant. <laughs> said it was great. He liked The yeah. Last Jedi, dude. He said it was great. I, yeah, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, <laughs> but I, I just keep thinking about Alien Covenant, and I'm like, nothing good comes to mind. Why do you think that films like Paul Blart get a sequel? <laughs> People <laughs> like this guy. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mahler. I am a level three YouTube <laughs> critic. I have read four books. Once I read five, I will be a level five. That's uh, <laughs> how that works. Movies and television are visual art forms, not about plot, characterization, and theme. So whenever you're writing a story, all you need to do is scribble little lines. Because everybody will just be there. Here's my usual routine for digesting film criticism. Before seeing a movie, I'll skim reactions from critics I trust on Twitter, or glance briefly at their reviews, and if enough of them seem to movie dig Bob. it, I'll see the movie. Then after He's, He said it again! He's just admitted to only seeing movies based on reviews, and then he said earlier, <laughs> movie reviewers aren't paid, because why would they be? Can we, like, so cut out that seeing... part and just put it next to each other? <laughs> he doesn't listen to his own fucking words, it's insane. For example, with a movie like Black Panther, a review by a 25-year-old white guy on YouTube is probably- Oh my god, god again? For Christ's sake, that is actually a direct reference to me and Wolf. We can't yeah. judge Black Panther. We're not allowed. This, Fuck this you. Guy, this, guy's, this guy's fucking racist. This guy's like straight up racist. He's like, he have actually is a fucking racist. <laughs> but that's Man, also I can finally call someone a racist a and take it seriously. Are... Me and Wolf are not allowed to review Black Panther because we're white. This, this guy pretty much just said that. <laughs> let's, let's get the whole thing. Let's get the whole thing in the context. I like and read all their takes on it because I want to see a bunch of different perspectives. For example, as long as they agree like with Black yours. Panther. And, yeah, as long as they're the right race. So. A review by a 25 year old white guy on YouTube is probably not going to have much to offer. But that's because I'm the sorry. The 25. I have to. I just want to complain. What do you mean they don't have much to offer? What does that even. Fuck you. Like, I can't think of anything else Imagine... to say. Imagine. Imagine if you said a black guy reviewing Once Upon a Time in the West probably doesn't have anything to offer. <laughs> I'm making it official of this video. Guy. There will be a I quote mean, in my video for the, for the April Fool's Day that says, a review by a white person will offer nothing if reviewing Big Mama's house. I mean, how can he even justify that? <laughs> 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 I, I just tried to figure out how he can justify saying anything like that. Like, how can you gauge how much value a white person has when they when they do or say anything, be it uh, writing a book, making a movie, making a review, a YouTube video? You're a white guy. How do I know that? Well, I know for a fact that nothing you say has any worth at all, but that's because you're a fucking idiot, not because you're white. Big mama's yeah. house and unbridled brain. <laughs> I'm just gonna put- What if I'm a 25-year-old white male, 
but I have a master's degree in black science. Or black, <laughs> black science. Well, black science. <laughs> it's like black <laughs> magic, but it's What's even this better. It's worse. <laughs> Is he white, no Bilbo Bag? <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to Jared, there's no filter. There's it, there's no logic, no reason, no social norm or polite convention will prevent what he's thinking from coming out. You can't really criticize Prometheus in, unless you're uh, you've been you've had a tentacle rape baby. Like that's <laughs> how can you really associate with the character? <laughs> how, how would I touch? ever know how to put myself in the shoes of someone who gives birth to a fucking space squid? I, well, I mean, we joke about it, but really, like, let's be honest here. If you're not a woman, then how can you put yourself into Ripley's shoes? Exactly. Yeah, I can't I mean, even I associate. Could... I was like, is I mean, she that's... afraid? She looks afraid, but I don't know. I'm not a woman. That's why I only get along with Bishop, <laughs> because he's a man. He's a robot. <laughs> you can't get along with a picture. robot. He's a manly man who bleeds cum. <laughs> <laughs> you had to throw that in there, didn't you? You had to make it weird. Oh, no, he's not a straight white male. Bob Chipman, he's the guy who calls out, you know, all the racists. So he's trusted, but that that <laughs> skull on wheels and that <laughs> gay furry. <laughs> Don't listen to those guys. A friend of mine's this been sending me so. quotes from Roger Ebert complaining about plot holes, by the way. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Shut let me, it down. Let me just... You fucking idiot. Let me just read a few of them for you. Roger Ebert on I Am Legend. It's distracting to see flaws in the interior logic of the world um, a movie creates. Uh, Roger Ebert on High Tension, with a plot hole large enough to drive a truck through. Uh, Roger Ebert on Along Came a Spider. A few loopholes I can forgive, but when a plot is riddled with them, crippled by them, made implausible by them, I get distracted. Sorry, dude. You're gonna have to reference someone other than Roger Ebert. He may be traditional, but he's not on your team. <laughs> he never would be. Oh my god. It, it, you'd almost, it almost does seem like this should be a parody, because I just can't fathom At the end, he says, surprise, like gotcha. Surprise! I was just pretending to be retarded. <laughs> People are gonna argue that. They'll be like, uh, this guy is illogical. He's pleading insane. That's how these videos make sense. You'd be like, oh, we're judging yeah, the narrative now. any bad video now. can be okay. excused because he was insane when he made them. Mm. Has That's this guy said idea. anything that he hasn't contradicted? It's like, no, no, he's... Uh, he's not yet. Well, he, pro he started it. off by saying hello. He's probably gonna say goodbye. <laughs> <again>. <laughs> He just He's says hello again. Complete and total contradiction. <laughs> my sister likes it. Then again, she's dumb. Oh. And my brother did like it. <laughs> but then no, again, my, my he's brother, also my... dumb. No, no, my brother didn't like it. My little brother didn't like it because he saw and when when Admiral Akbar died, he was like he stood up on the on the theater and it's like he pulled his two middle finger on the screen. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, not kidding. Genuinely, like, I had missed it on my first watch awesome. through. I missed it on my first watch through that they said Admiral Akbar died, and I was like, when I finished the film, I hadn't even thought about the fact that he wasn't there yet. And then I remember reading online that it's like they unceremoniously flushed him out of the freaking ship, and I was like, really? <laughs> like I didn't even yeah. catch it. Yeah, he 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 was so pissed in that. Like he just he just stood up on the freaking theater. It's like he throw his middle finger on the two screen. It's like Jesus Christ, better chill. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 crazy that they at least at least Akbar earned a throwaway line. At least that's what he he got that you know. What what did what did the yeah. brand new character that nobody connected to at all Holdo get? It's like she got probably one of the most self-sacrificial set pieces in the history of Star Wars. It is easily the best Star Wars movie since The Empire Strikes Back, and today no 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 wrong wrong wrong. So he's wrong, saying it's better than wrong, Return of the Jedi, wrong, all the prequels, wrong, Force Awakens, wrong, Rogue One, wrong, and Solo. That that. <laughs> I will watch. I'd rather watch the. <laughs> I'd rather watch the Ewok Adventures movies than watch the Last Jedi again. Because <laughs> at least like the Ewok Adventures movies were so bad, it was like kind of funny. Because, the characters like, will be given respect in the Ewok movie. <laughs> intended for children. So why have you created in three videos? For children. <laughs> why is intended he intended for children? Is it? Yeah, that's the other thing. Intended, I would say, for everyone, not children. Isn't the whole point that Star Wars appeals just... to a mass audience, not just children? Well, here's here's the thing. He's ripping that line from George Lucas and just being like, 
Uh, you see, even George Lucas says it's for kids. It's like, well, let's, first off, this is an idiotic argument because just because a film is for kids doesn't mean it has the right to suck. Because <laughs> Lion King, Treasure Planet, Atlantis, uh, How to Train Your Dragon, all incredible films Pixar. that are all directed towards younger audiences. Yeah. Look at when Luke sees his aunt and uncle's bones. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> when, when Anakin's implied to have slit down fucking a bunch of kids. Like, I don't know. It, it, to me, I'm just like, oh, yeah, this is just the exact same thing as the Lego movie. You know, it's, it's just like that. Oh, yeah. You know, five-year-olds watching Anakin slaughter a bunch of five-year-olds. That's totally kid oriented <laughs> and once you move from that argument you move on to but hang on you're telling people to stop getting so angry and like you're gushing about it so one side of the emotions is okay but the other side isn't it's like that doesn't seem very consistent it looks like you're just policing people about how they should feel what are you saying when people celebrate how well written something like wally or incredibles or monsters inc is are you like oh god calm down it's a kid's thing because you, you do it to the negative side, but do you do it to the positive side? Do you, do you keep that consistent? Probably not. Eh. Eh. Please do a five-hour analysis on Shrek. <laughs> about a movie about space wizards intended for oh children. Oh god, he does it again? What, didn't he just do that, or did we rewind? Hang on. Eh. You did rewind. Or maybe this is a film about space wizards intended for children. Yeah. I'm not saying you shouldn't take it seriously, just maybe... Don't get too angry about it. We're not talking about gun control here. We're talking about a movie about space was- Ah. He, he does uh, do it twice. Oh, uh, he did do it twice. And he said that you're- he, He's basically saying you can care about politics, but you can't care about media. Come on. Politics is one thing, but media- This is a kid's movie for space was- But remember, Patrick's politics include hating white people, so... I don't understand this at all. <laughs> like- it's so confusing to keep track of. I think it comes down to he's going to use this argument against the people who are making counter arguments to the film to try and bat them off, but he won't. He won't uh, allow it to be applied to himself. Simple. People as that. in the chat are pointing, are rightfully pointing out, what is gun control? How is that even a good analogy? <laughs> <in this sense? laughs> like, like I said, what, I'm assuming what, he's talking about politics. He's got to be. That's his point. That you you should be serious about politics. You shouldn't be serious about media. I guess that's what he means. Even yeah. though he's very serious about media, he has a whole career based on it. So I don't understand. You should be less angry <laughs> about it. That's what he said. Birth control said, uh, is on the same level of criticism for yeah. Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just saw that. that was great. Oh, Patrick. Wizards intended for children. Anyway, it sucks that I feel like I have to say that, and it's probably not even worth wading into this shitstorm anyway, yeah, but honestly- on. Oh, what, so now he's like, I probably shouldn't have said that because there'll be counter-arguments. Yeah, 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 just, 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 just go on, just go on. Why, why do you like this film? <laughs> just, I just- This is like fucking five minute disclaimer. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Love this movie. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That's all, that's all this is. That's all it ever comes down to. I just love this movie. That's it. And I want to talk about it. Okay, but if you talk about it on a public space, expect people to talk back. That is how this works. So, the disclaimer, you may as well just start the video here, to be perfectly honest with you, but hey. I True. mostly love the original trilogy. I think the prequels are generally not good, even if they contain some cool ideas. I think The Force Awakens is pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, it plays things super safe and basically just hits all the beats from A New Hope, but the movie had to do three things. It had to feel like Star Wars again, it had to introduce new characters that we wanted to follow into future movies, and it had to bridge the 30-year gap in... <laughs> <laughs> it had to bridge the 30-year gap. Well, I guess it failed in that regard, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, in the sense that, like, we skipped the bridge part and went to the other side. I'm sorry, but if I was to compliment The Force Awakens, I would never cite that it bridged the gap. It didn't bridge any gap. It practically skipped the gap. Yeah, wouldn't, like, The Force Unleashed, which is intentionally supposed to be, okay, this is what happened between 3 and 4, work more as a bridging the gap part? This is skipping the gap. This is on the other side of the gap. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand how you could possibly assume. Bridging the gap between... Between what? Like, the OT and itself? Because what else would it connect to? I don't even know what he's trying to say with that anyway. I don't think he understands what bridging the gap means as a phrase. 
had to bridge the 30 year gap in the story. It did ridiculously well at the first two. And with the third. Oh, okay. It did okay. It's a no, it didn't do anything. No. At, hey, at least. Oh, no. At least God. he said that it wasn't great in that regard. At least. <laughs> At least he said that it it, it wasn't great. Her helmet strikes back. <laughs> I'd watch that. Star Wars story to understand who that guy is and what his deal is. Mm -hmm. So now that The Force Awakens had brought Star Wars back to the thing that we loved and was no longer two hours of Hayden Christensen green screened into ugly CGI, where did we go? Gotta, gotta get those prequel jabs in there. It's almost like a, see guys, The Last Jedi's still better than them though. It's so. like, I... Patrick, just because the prequels suck doesn't mean that The Last Jedi doesn't. Stop using that as an argument. <laughs> no, okay, look, yeah, there are a lot of people that are saying now that, um, that the prequels are good, and they aren't, and they're wrong when they say that they aren't. However, it, just because people are saying that doesn't mean The Last Jedi is excused from criticism because the prequels exist. I like the way he slips that in, though. Like... By the way, you know this thing that people have a huge problem with, Yoda fucking firing lightning? It actually makes complete sense, because it's what Obi-Wan was referring to. It's like, no! <laughs> no, stop. If Obi-Wan was referring to that, why wouldn't he have used it? That's, that's just stop it, stop it. The Last Jedi doesn't make any sense, and then he responds, Star Wars has always been weird. It's like, that's it, not... That's not, what it's not an that's argument. not the <laughs> argument. Not an argument. Not the argument. Remember Figrin, Dan, and the modal nodes? Remember how there's a fucking devil in there just chilling at the bar? And why? Don't, don't swear it, to your parents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, that's not our argument. <laughs> also, <laughs> dude, I just realized, like, Yoda should be casting lightning. That's ridiculous. Then he goes, there was a fucking devil in the cantina. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's... Yeah, I mean, like... Yeah. That's not our argument, though, just... <laughs> a one-eyed tentacle creature in the trash compactor? What, what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, okay! <laughs> okay, and... Since the <laughs> very beginning, funny. Star Wars has been full of weird... Do you, think he, do you think he said that as if people have forgotten? He's like, do you guys remember the Episode Four one? You know, the old one? Not, not many people have seen it. It's the it, one with the like tentacle one. <laughs> It's like he expects us to either be like, oh yeah, The Last Jedi doesn't suck because of that, or he expects us to say, oh yeah, Star Wars sucks because there was a devil for a second and a half. Has anyone ever made the argument that The Last Jedi is bad because it's got weird shit in it? <laughs> yeah, this is the thing, I don't understand where he's coming from with this one. Weird shit, and The Last Jedi lives up to that legacy. Okay. The giant no, alien cow thing that Luke made. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay, okay, to be fair, to be fair, there was one person who did say that The Last Jedi was bad because there's some weird shit. Oh, it was well... Jared. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Um, okay, well, you don't want to be. Bit of an exception. You do not want to be caught <laughs> arguing for the the milk monster. That's not a great position to have. But go for I, it, this Patrick. This is just go the absolute it. worst screen to pause on. Go, I... go for it. And the last Jedi lives up to that legacy. The giant alien cow thing that Luke milks is one of my favorite additions to this. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I even surprised? I'm not even surprised by that. <laughs> it's one of his favorite. Stop! 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 Time out! Time out! <laughs> it's one of his favorite additions. <laughs> um, I, I really want to hear him quantify. Oh my god! Why this is his favorite edition? <laughs> <laughs> why is that? This is real. Patrick, explain. I mean, come on, you, you, you got the porgs, you got the the precious crystal fox boys, you got you got those little horse llama things. I mean, you got so much to pick from, and it's the the titty elephant thing. <laughs> titty <Why>? elephant. <laughs> he's, uh, Jesus, he's he's got to be trolling. <laughs> no, wait a minute, serious. Patrick. No. <sighs> this okay. is Patrick. All right, Patrick. Let's- we'll take you seriously. Oh, weird shit. And the last <laughs> lives up to that legacy. Yes. 
The giant alien cow thing that Luke milks is one of my favorite additions to this whole series. And if you don't like the whole series, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> give him the benefit of the doubt and say, okay, at least it's just this movie. At least it's, it's just the last time. Jesus Christ. How did you get this one to be your favorite? In, oh. in all of Star Wars as a saga, the alien elephant titties are the favorite. Wow, that's just... That, that can't, you can't... Okay, go on. It, it, it has to be a punchline of a joke. Like, he can't seriously freaking say this. Milks is one of my favorite additions to this whole series. And if you don't like it, no offense, but you have boring taste and I don't want to be friends with you. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What do you mean, poor taste? <laughs> You're absolutely insane. <laughs> You can't be serious, Patrick. You can't. This is insane. Look, you know, it's one thing to say, like, oh, anyone who likes The Last Jedi needs to be, like, killed or, or is stupid. It's like, obviously, that's hyperbolic. He's actually arguing that if you don't like the alien elephant boobs, then you you have bad taste. <laughs> or boring taste, sorry. Like, oh. I don't know, man. I, I think I'd rather be boring than, like, whatever that thing is. Jesus. I'm... Uh, he didn't even try. He was just like, nah, you suck. He's just gonna skip the argument and just go straight to, look, if you don't get it, you're boring. <laughs> it's like, okay. Boring taste, and I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to be friends with you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's okay, getting, okay, he's okay. getting let's, super... Let's, 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 let, let, let it go on. Oh let it go on. But also, we've got the fish nuns and a hell mouth. The fish nuns <laughs> and the <laughs> hell mouth? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I missed that. I missed okay. that. I'm sorry. Okay, you know, I, I genuinely thought, like, okay, maybe we're laughing too early. Maybe he's gonna be like, you see, this is what these these haters would say. But no, he's just going with it. He's serious. Dude, he just said the fish nuns and the hell mouth as, like, defenses for the last Jedi. I get no offense, but you have boring taste, and I don't want to be friends with you. <laughs> you, you, you don't also, we've got the fish nuns and a hell mouth where the movie goes all David Lynch, and those crazy things hanging out on Canto Bite. Nobody, nobody fucking complimenting that in Canto Bite. It was bizarre. It was like, wh why is why is there an opera singing <sighs> chunky alien thing? Do you remember the one that was putting coins in BB-8? Most people were citing the prequels when they came to this scene. They were like, this is very prequel-ish. And it was probably because of how much CGI was in it. Maybe you need to lay off that soy tea, buddy. Hey, man. <sighs> it's giving him great taste that I am jealous of. Good. Don't you want to live in a world where you could enjoy all of these horrible things? <laughs> <laughs> We've got the fish nuns and a hell mouth where the movie goes all fish David Lynch nuns. and those crazy things hanging out on Canto Bite. Oh, yeah. Canto Bite. You know, that section of the movie that people hate. Where they say nothing happens, it should just be entirely don't, cut no, out of the movie. Don't, 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 no, no, it, no. You defend Cantabite. So, I swear, I might actually lose my mind. This is interesting. I could spend several reasons saying why it's, you know, a thing, but then, you know, I, I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to talk about other things. <laughs> I said some jokes on Twitter that were very obviously jokes, and I said a word that people didn't like, which wasn't even bad, it was retard. And <laughs> it's bad to them, dude. <laughs> Watching rich people get their shit destroyed is one of the purest pleasures in all of cinema. And if you can't appreciate that, I, I feel sorry for you. So to clarify, if you don't gain pleasure from watching rich people have their things destroyed, he feels sorry for you. Of fucking course she can use the force. She's a goddamn <laughs> It's not, that's not the problem. It's okay that she can use the force. It goes a bit further when she's doing something that not even Yoda should be able to do. That led Anakin Skywalker to freaking out and murdering a bunch of kids and becoming Darth freaking Vader. Freaking out is one way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, if, let's just, let, we'll leave that one go, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. How insane is that? That Kylo was asleep, he woke up to this guy trying to kill him, who's supposed to be his teacher, and then decides, I'm gonna kill everyone here. And not <laughs> Luke, by the way. He, yeah. he just forgets about Luke. It's like, I, it doesn't make any sense at all, but it's so quick like, that people don't get was, to think about was it. Was he just viciously bullied at the <laughs> Jedi Academy? I mean, they were all just yeah. making fun of him because he's so crap compared to Han Solo, who's like <laughs> epic as shit. They're like, oh my god, like, why are you such a dweeb? And he's like, shut up. 
I'll kill all why of you. Are you as good look as, why are you as good looking as your dad? <laughs> your your dad killed a Death Star. What have you done? It's like, mm, I'll make a new Death Star. It'll be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> well, the explosion will be bigger. Explaining how immaculately crafted the character arcs are, because that's all covered in a great video on the channel just right. Yeah. I saw a car in the background that's not realistic. Uh, Oh no! Well, that... I was gonna say, Wolf, how are you not reacting? Let's just no. let's just hear that again. Let's hear that again. Forward. I'm not going to spend ten minutes explaining how immaculately crafted the character arcs are because that's all covered in a great video on the channel just right that you should go watch. So to clarify for you, Patrick, uh... since you are completely unaware, uh, one of Just Right's points were about Poe and how he refuses to learn and how uh, Holdo keeping the information from him was due to the fact that she couldn't trust him. Uh, we had a debate with him and uh, I got, uh, we, we, we got him to the point of being silent when we actually explained how it doesn't make any sense at all for her to hold that information. Someone said, how does his mother not beat him? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> oh, I forgot that they're even in this video. Like, what was the point of them? I guess they're just a gag. That's probably it. I can move planets with my hand, and it'd be like, ooh, new force powers. <laughs> I mean, guys, Yoda shows up and straight up states the theme. The greatest teacher failure is. Which is one of my criticisms. Well, if you have a well, theme, well, don't well, bat it into the face of the audience. That's precisely the opposite of what you should do with a theme. What happened to the freaking fish nuns in the morning when they were like, this is our only job to take care of this fucking place, and you burnt it down, you asshole. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I didn't do it, the ghost puppet did it. <laughs> like... I've had a lot of moments where bad guys ask good guys to join them, but this was the first time that I thought there was a chance the good guy might actually accept. And that is the mark of good storytelling. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even tell us why. It's just, she didn't uh, know where she was going. So why not join the bad guys, I suppose? It wouldn't have made any sense. She has investment in the good guys. She knows all of the good guys. Why would she go with Kylo? It wouldn't make any sense. Wolf, you alive? Go on. Yeah, Wolf is dead. <laughs> Patrick killed him. There will be constants through the series. The Millennium Falcon will remain, but we'll talk about the era when Han Solo owned it, or the I, era when. Oh, I hope it doesn't. Or when L three piloted nah. it. <laughs> Never remember that era. <laughs> but the truth is that since December, I haven't stopped thinking about The Last Jedi. <laughs> but it's a kid's movie, dude. Okay. It's a kid's movie, dude. Okay, man, child. Okay, Isn't there a kid's child. movie? You stop thinking about the kid's movie. You gotta be more adult and think about adult things. Stop thinking about the kid's movie. And to all the people who hate it, I wish that you could see what I see. Because... It's I rare. wish that you could understand a single argument that was thrown against you and not straw man it. And besides, That's what I wish. Patrick, give me one movie you do not like. Just give me one, and then I'll throw the exact same statement back at you. I wish you could see what I see in the room. <laughs> I wish you could understand uh. the quality of the room. It's like... Je oh, it's like watching someone eat shit, and then you go, Whoa, all right, you, you good man. He's like, I wish you could taste what I taste. You're like, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna eat real food. You can eat, <laughs> you can eat that, dude. I'm good. Some the goomp made a rock and said, I like this rock. <laughs> and some of the your, your rock, them, your rock shitty. My I rock hate your rock. My rock better. It's smoother. Your rock, your rock is gay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we making mundane Matt jokes? I just realized. <laughs> You're boulder gay. You're my boulder, boulder better. <laughs> boulder gay. Stop flagging my boulder. Now, right up front.